Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another segment of The Vegas Voice, The Last Word. Our job at The Vegas Voice is to present to you all the candidates running for public office. We have a great one today, and that is Sam Brown, who is running for the U.S. Senate on Republican. That's right. And Sam, first of all, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. You know what? One of the questions I'm asking everybody is that uh, you have no, you've never had any public office before. You're not a politician. Right. So this is like your first entry into politics. Right. Well, the question I have is, why would you do that? Why would you get involved in the, in the politics with the world being the way it is today in which everybody either hates somebody or they dislike the other guy? Well, isn't that part of good enough reason right there to begin with, to have non-politicians get involved in politics? Uh, and to be fair, I've, I've been around the, you know, around politics in terms of helping, you know, campaigns in the past. And so I've seen, I've seen what campaigns can look like. And there's, you know, there's good campaigns, there's bad campaigns, there's career politicians, there's people like myself who, you know, went to West Point, served my country, uh, got out, became a small business owner, a family man. Those are the kind of folks that uh, I believe we need to represent us now, because at least in my case, my allegiance is to Nevadans and to Americans, not to you know special interest and in, in DC. And um, it's it's time for it's time for a new class. And that is very magnificent for you to do that to get involved. Talk a little bit about your experience and your background. Yeah, so um, we got, I was just kind of born and raised into uh, you know a middle class family. Um, my, my father, uh, I, was, I was the oldest of five, and he, he told me when I was young, he said, son, I can't afford to put all five of you kids through school, so you're going to have to figure it out. And by the way, you know, the Browns, we, we serve the country. Uh, so he sort of oriented me towards uh, military academies, and I was fortunate uh, right after 9-11 to get accepted to West Point. Okay. And uh, so uh, attended West Point for four years, commissioned as an infantry officer, went through Ranger School, Airborne School. Two years later, I found myself leading troops in Afghanistan. And, uh, you know, that was a great honor uh, to be doing that. And uh, unfortunately, the Taliban got got us one day with a roadside bomb. And that changed the course of uh, my own personal life and what my service could look like. The military ultimately uh, retired me after three years of recovery uh, in Texas. And um, and and I had to kind of chart a new path. Now, you know, with tragedy, there comes opportunity too. Mm -hmm. I, I met my wife in the process. She was also in the Army, worked in the burn unit as a dietitian. Um, we've got three beautiful kids. And so where I thought my service to the country was going to be a, mili a long military career, um, I got to get into business and went back to school, got an MBA, started a small business. And um, and just recently uh, passed that business off to someone else and, and uh, have exited that so I can focus on this race because it's time to serve the country again in a different way. You know, and, and there's something to be said for that. I have to give you credit for that. And yet, here's, here's the thing that most people are going to be asking is, uh, you're running U.S. Senate, right. Republican. Uh, uh, assuming you are fortunate and you win the election, in the, especially with the country the way it is, does it really matter now? Because 51, 50 Democrats or 50, 52 Republicans, whatever it is, do you think you can make a, a change? You think you can, what, what can you do, you think, that you can contribute for Nevada, yeah. and, and for the country as a U.S. Senator. Yeah, so um, a, a couple of things. Yeah, I absolutely believe I can make a change. Otherwise, I would not be uh, putting what was otherwise a very perfect life. Uh, yeah. You know, seven nights a week with, at home with my family at dinner, you know, playing with my kids every night. Uh, you know, we're an outdoors family, and so uh, I love that. That's that's why I moved to Nevada. It was for a family lifestyle. and um, And so... Can I make a change? Sure, you bet. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. And what I'd like to change is, is one, is part of our political culture. The, the, the fighting that we have in this country between parties, mm -hmm. uh, between voters, is it, it's un-American. We, we got to get back to a place where we're focused on American values, uh, individual freedom, personal responsibility. Uh, we've got to, uh, in, in my view, one of the biggest issues is the economy right now. The economy is is overheated. Uh, the Fed is spending way too much, put, pumping way too much money into the economy. Congress is passing these massive spending bills, and you know we throw around this word inflation. What does that mean? 
It means that working class families and people on fixed incomes, like a lot of seniors, are really hurting right now because our dollar doesn't go as far. We're paying more. Inflation is we pay more at the gas pump. We pay more at the, ga yeah. the gas, the gas stations, the grocery stores um, for our services. Um, and our government is contributing to that. We've got a slash spending. Um, and, and I believe that right now, Democrats are open to, you know, considering other ways because current policies are failing and hurting. So the policies that you would like to implement or your platform, talk a little bit about that. The person who's going to vote for Sam Brown, this is what you're going to get in terms of this is what I believe on my political beliefs. Let's go with that. Yeah. So um, one of the reasons I'd ask people to support me is because I want to represent Nevada. Um, too often we have politicians who go to D.C. and they represent their party leadership interest. For example, Catherine Cortez Masto. Go ahead. She votes 98, 99 percent of the time with Biden's agenda. And, you know, that's led in the Senate by Chuck Schumer. His interests, their agenda don't necessarily match and align with what's good for Nevada. And so uh, I've got the only true grassroots campaign for this U.S. Senate race in the entire state. Mm -hmm. I'm funded at sixty three dollars per donor. That means I answer to Nevadans. We've had over twenty five thousand donors. and there's no one else that's raising the type of money I'm raising. We've raised over $2 million. We're an extremely competitive campaign. We are funded enough to deploy a successful campaign. And if people want someone to, that represents their issues, Nevada's issues, I'm the one to do it. Well, you know, and that, let me ask you a very blunt question. Because we're a senior magazine and we reach out to all the seniors in Southern Nevada, what can you tell Senior Nevada and said, if they vote for you, this is what we're going to, this is what I'm going to be doing for you. Or this is what I'm hoping to do for you. Right. Yeah. I mean, seniors are uh, oftentimes, you know, have fixed income. And uh, right now, our economic troubles impact you more so than, you know, working, uh, working families or young professionals. It's uh, we need an economy that has rational uh, policies. We need. Um, Look, healthcare costs are skyrocketing. I believe much of that is related to uh, to laws and to regulations that just add costs. Uh, our energy policy in the United States is adding costs to all of our lives. We need to get back to a place of energy independence, which will drive down costs and allow us and you to, to live the life that you dreamed of living as a retiree. Um, we don't need all this political infighting. We need people who will bring our country back together with a shared vision of allowing us to live our dreams. And that's what I offer. You know, and I'm gonna put you on the spot right now, Sam, if you don't mind. One of the things that you hear, especially from the US Senate, you got Democrats on one side, Republicans on the other side, and they will never meet. And the word compromise has become a dirty word. What's your feeling about that? I think it's a sad indictment on where we're at as a, as a nation. Um, you know, we have Democrats and Republicans and nonpartisans, you know, in our families, in our neighborhoods, in our places of worship, uh, you know, for those who still work in our workplaces, we've got to love one another. Uh, we've got to have respect for one another and, and allow for room for people to disagree on policies, but still attempt to drive towards rational solutions. And um, so that's that's my hope and endeavor is that we can change things, mm -hmm. uh, but that we find issues um, you know, for example, the energy issue, the economy, uh, water is critical to us here in Nevada, issues that impact all of us. And we've got to move the ball forward. And it can't just be a Democrat agenda or a Republican agenda. It needs to be Nevada agenda and an American agenda. Well, in the limited time that we have left, if there's one thing that you would want people, seniors, Nevadans to know about you would be what? I want Nevadans and seniors to know that my allegiance is to you the voters, the constituents. Uh, my family is here. Uh, I've been very fortunate that this campaign is not reliant on big DC interest. I, I don't have any uh, you know, career politicians who are, are propping me up. And so I answer to you. And after I win this election, campaigning doesn't stop. We keep the relationship, we build a relationship now and we stay in touch and I, I represent you as best I can. And you know what, Sam, like you said, you don't have any corporate interests or the big guys, really, the so-called D.C. lobbyists backing right. up. The ordinary people, the seniors, 
If they want more information about you, if they want to contribute, they want to volunteer, how do they go about doing it? Best place to do that is my website, captainsambrown.com is, uh, is the website. We have an office uh, here in Las Vegas. We have uh, offices up in uh, Reno as well. Um, we've got a great field uh, team and volunteers can do any number of things. CaptainSamBrown.com is the best place to get in touch with us. And again, we'll have that graphic, hopefully, if we do this right on the bottom of, of uh, this segment here. I thank you so much for being here. I, we wish you the best of luck. And uh, we will go from there. And this is Dan Roberts from The Vegas Voice for the last word saying thank you. And we'll see you again next time. Great job, guys.